We're headed down to the bayou. Let's get it. Well, it's the bottom of the seventh, and I'm walking on to take bat. I don't know. I, I didn't know what even to say about this place, to be honest. <coughs> walk on is kind, kind, of, kind of seems like a, a baseball term or something. I'm not sure. I don't know why it's called walk ons. That is interesting. But yeah, no, we're trying out this place that kind of just popped up here in Bristol. Um, it's Louisiana based food. Yeah, so. Which is not our common type of food around here so. yeah it's only louisiana anything that i know of that's even close by now walk-ons is a chain place mm-hmm. i've heard i've seen it like in other places but it's the first time we have ever tried it hey uh, yeah i'm, I'm not I'm, i don't i didn't know anything really about it I've, i think i've seen their stuff a couple times but i don't know it just it was very it's it's pretty pricey i'm not I'm not gonna lie the, especially on doordash i don't know about the in-house but i couldn't imagine it be a lot less. Yeah. So it's it's kind of on the pricier side. So is that the DoorDash prices or is that the actual price? I'm guessing. <laughs> so I was looking at it like I don't, don't know. How much did you pay? I paid fifty six dollars, and that was after fifteen. I said so. That's probably the actual price. That's probably the actual prices. I mean, they're not. It's not cheap. Yeah, that is actually because remember I was sixteen something. Yeah. So yeah, that's not that's not, and that's only ten. Ooh. Okay, okay. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, well, it's a lot of it. it's just DoorDash. Yeah, a third party price and six bucks. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, it's uh, it's not cheap. It's it's definitely not cheap. Yeah, but it's not not as bad if you go to the restaurant. It's still not. It's still not cheap. Yeah, it's still well, not great. Well, yeah, but everything's expensive now. Yeah. So what are you gonna do? True. But. Uh, yeah, this is stuff that we, a lot of it I haven't technically even really thought about eating, I guess. I haven't really, never actually tried. So most uh, of my stuff, other than one, is pretty much out. It's pretty yeah. standard. He's a little less adventurous I'm gonna, than I am. I'm pretty standard. Him, he got all kinds of weird stuff. That <laughs> I'm going to let him eat his stuff. I'm going to eat my stuff. Yeah. But uh, that's just how it is, you know. You know the drill. Yeah, it ain't it ain't changed. So uh, five years of this, I'm not. I haven't changed in thirty years, thirty yeah. some years. Uh, it's not going thirty seven, I guess now, but it's not going to change in the last five. So, so anyway, uh, I guess we should get started. Yeah, we'll figure out what we got. I hope and I hope we got everything. Golly, that's heavy. Okay. Okay. Um. Okay. I'll got everything I, that I ordered. Yeah, that's it. Everything does look like it's here. Mm. Hey, they give me silverware. I'm glad they gave you silverware. Well, is your, well, I guess you do have something that does require silverware. <laughs> yeah, you're right. How many spoons you got? Uh, I got one spoon, but I don't need a spoon. I, well, four, I just so. need a spoon for this. Yeah. Uh, anyways, yeah. So, uh, what you, I guess I'm going to start with my stuff, and you start with your stuff. If you want to try anything of mine, I'm probably not going to try anything of yours. Because, yeah. Uh, yeah, it does yeah, not. They, they didn't yeah. do what I said to do. But. Uh, what do we want to start with? 
I'm gonna try some them boot. Well, I'm gonna try this and and the boot in balls, I guess. And the boot in balls? Yeah. Well, not together, but. No, you say what are you? What are you this doing? is going quick. What is that? This is their gumbo. Oh. So. I'm just not. I don't, gumbo to me does not seem like it'd be anything that I would like. What, gumbo what? is you just throw everything at it and hope it sticks. This is definitely not what gumbo is. <laughs> gumbo is a. Uh, or is that jambalaya? Okra style. I think the term jambalaya does mean... Yeah, maybe it's going to... Maybe I'm, thing is, maybe I'm wrong there. Included. Yeah, gumbo is like an okra and sausage and a little bit of rice. They didn't put very much rice. Very little rice in this. But uh, I think I heard... I haven't been there to eat the actual restaurant, of course. But if you go and eat there, you get a cup of gumbo for free I think at least what I heard I don't know if it's true or not well I will say these don't look appetizing I'm hoping they are though so these are boudin balls I've never had boudin balls I don't I've never had boudin supposedly what it is is rice sausage and something else and I can't remember what the, the third thing is are you good over there one one taste rules it all. You don't need a fourteen thing. Then you oh, okay? No, I'm good. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm not gonna like it. It tastes like brown gravy and beef and rice. Yeah, but with other stuff in it. You can't taste nothing. Uh, you see, I hate when they say that. They they've been saying this garbage <laughs> to me. You can't taste this in it, and I'm like, oh yeah, okay, whatever. The only thing else in it is okra, and it's just like super thin. You're like, you can't even taste the green pepper in it. Is there green pepper? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Must have got one. But really, I mean, it just tastes like... It literally tastes like ground beef and gravy. It kind of does. It's, <laughs> it's, uh, there's a little bit of a spice there. I don't know what it is. The rice actually adds something to that, surprisingly enough. Um, I could use more rice. Do what? I could use more rice. Yeah. But it, 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 it's not bad. I'm, I'm actually shocked. My, if my wife watches this, she's going to be really shocked because I never <laughs> drank anything. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, there's just like a little back spice. There is like a little bit of a, and it's not like hot, hot. It's just like a little bit of a spice on the back side of that, a little bit of a bite on the back end of it. It's not bad. It's pretty tasty. Uh, there's a little bit of green pepper fl flavored in there. Man, I'm terrible. <laughs> I don't like trying new <laughs> stuff, guys. I what, don't. Is, what is this? That's just barbecue sauce. Barbecue sauce. Spicy barbecue. So that's wh horseradish. Woo! <laughs> it's spicy. That's, that's horse uh, Dijon horseradish. I think it's what it's. That's it. Don't taste. Or it don't smell like nothing. Like it smells like air. This does not. I'm gonna try it with it. Why well, that's soft? It does. I'm <laughs> terrified of this. Hmm? Wow, that's not anything that I was expecting. The texture is 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 weird. Definitely different. It's really soft. Yeah. Ooh, it's spicy. I was not expecting that at all. It's not bad. Don't get me wrong. It's actually pretty tasty. It's just not what I expected. Ooh, that is a spicy. Yeah. No. There's a kick in there. Spicy. Barbecue sauce. That really didn't go that well together. A little too sweet. Yeah. Now this stuff, if you like stuff like that, of course, Dustin doesn't. But it almost, you know, what it reminds me of, and I, I don't know if you've ever had it. Almost like a, a Jamaican beef pat, uh, beef pocket or whatever beef patty. It does. It reminds me of that. Um, and the heat in it is almost the spicy version of that. It reminds me a lot of that. The meat is almost custardy. Yeah, this, and that's the same way with the Jamaican beef patties. It's the same way. Yeah, it's like real. And I like Jamaican beef patties. You always know, eat the ones that come in the box. And those aren't bad. Those are actually huh. pretty good. Um, that's what it reminds me of. Actually, that's actually pretty dang tasty. Yeah, it's not bad. I was I was afraid, but um, I'm I'm pleasantly surprised yeah. at that. Um, yeah. Yeah. If you get, if you go, yeah, get booty that's balls. A, that's, that's a good. That's good. Yeah. Good advertiser. I'm, I'm I'm happy with that. Completely happy with that. The barbecue is a weird, sweetie, sweet, spicy kind. Of, it's just weird. 
Yeah, I think it would go it's good. It's not bad, but... Like on some chicken wings. Well, that's what I'm going to... That's my next thing. Is, that's what I got. Was, <clears throat> bar, uh, uh, boneless wings. So, we shall try the boneless of wings, or I shall try. I don't know about him. He's got, whatever, yeah, yeah. shrimp and grits, I guess. Yeah, the voodoo shrimp and grits. Now, this has that barbecue sauce on it. And they gave you some on the side, too. Mm -hmm. You're not a ranch man, so... So the wing, okay, it has some spice on there. There's definitely some burniness a little bit to it. That was a little fail here. It's a solid wing. It's a solid wing. It's I'm I'm, not, I'm pleasantly surprised. I mean the they're not super small wings. They're good size. Um, the coverage of the sauce is, it could be a little bit better, but it's, it's, it's pretty good. Really um, but that, that spicy barbecue has some heat to it. It tastes good. Like tastes on, good, on yeah. Chicken. On the chicken, it tastes good. Not on the good. Not on boudin balls, yeah. It's weird. It wasn't like nasty, but it was just weird. It, just, it, it didn't belong together. Yeah. But, yeah, that's pretty good. That's a solid wing. Yeah, the, the chicken doesn't, it doesn't taste like, you know, you, a lot of times you'll eat like it, that frozen -y. Yeah, that's not that's not happening there. It is frozen, you can tell. But yeah, but yeah. All right, no, I mean that's not bad. So, so this is their. Let's see if you guys can look at this. I mean, this is heavy. Feel like how heavy it is. Oh wow! <laughs> this is their voodoo shrimp and grits. Now I love shrimp and grits. It's a big thing for me. Like I don't, I don't do shellfish or fish. So yeah, he's not big on that. So a voodoo shrimp, <clears throat> whatever that means. Apparently, it's like a, I don't know, it's almost like not really a teriyaki sauce, but it's like teriyaki if it didn't have the onion. But uh, they still have the tails. But uh, besides that, it's a piece of shrimp that is wrapped in bacon. <laughs> <laughs> so for so a fat man's like delight. Yeah, like if you like shellfish. Well, I mean, it look like pretty good sized shrimp too, like jumbo shrimp. They're big, wrapped in bacon with that sauce on it, right? You get the sauce yeah. like sprinkled over top of it. I think it's supposed to be a spicy sauce. Yeah. Because there's a little spice? Well, Louisiana is known for their heat. So they, they've got heat in their food. And we've tasted, you know, so far, there's some heat in so everything we've had so far. I honestly, I like the flavor. But I'll be honest, when it comes to shrimp and grits, I like plain shrimp. Like, I like them to be seasoned, but yeah. I like to it to... Mix well and to kind of have like a incorporate very well with you know, the, like a texture that works yeah. with it. It's yeah, those, these are so crispy that it's almost like there's two different meals here. And I haven't tried the grits. Let's try. They're corn grits. Apparently, I see corn. Is that not what a grit is? Is corn? It's like a meal, corn meal, I guess. Mm -hmm. But you usually don't get like corn in the unless you get corn grits. So there's actually chunks of corn in is what you're saying. Okay. They're well, pretty tasty. The grits are good. It's not uh, Margaritaville. Margaritaville's shrimp and grits are, I don't know, impossible to beat. Yeah. Okay. As he's chowing down, I'm gonna hope, hopefully these are it's right. Good. It tastes good. We will see. These are their sliders. Now, I went by, and I'm when I go with burgers, I'm just a ketchup and and it looks like that's all it's on here. So yeah, just catch up meat and, and a pickle on top. So um, I'm gonna try it out. See what this is like. It's sticky. Mmm. With barbecue sauce. Oh, it's not ketchup. <laughs> <laughs> barbecue yeah. sauce. I mean, the, it, it, it's not like that. Different kind of barbecue sauce. It's, it's but that's a barbecue. I ain't ketchup. Could be worse. <laughs> I like barbecue on burger. Wow, okay. It's worked pretty good. Or... I mean, it's good. This is not ketchup. <laughs> I like the, the pickle on the top. That's interesting. Yeah, pickle really don't do much for it. Really? Yeah. How much? You don't really get that pickle from the... I think the barbecue sauce that's on it is overpowering a lot of it. 
I don't know if they meant to do that because it says ketchup on the yeah. On the menu. But that is that's not spicy barbecue. That's like regular barbecue sauce. People does nothing. That's sad. Uh, burger's juicy. So, I mean, it's got American cheese on it, so you'll definitely not like it. Yeah. But um, there's the cheese is kind of thicker side. They look good and greasy. They're very, very much so. I don't care what you say. If the burger ain't greasy, it ain't right. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'll get those again. Even if it's supposed to be ketchup and not barbecue sauce. <laughs> Barbecue sauce. So the second to last thing that I got is, <clears throat> and this might have been what some of you are waiting for if you're watching this, <clears throat> is their, uh, I call them something, it's fried alligator tacos. It's alligator street tacos. There's a piece without no ranch. I'm good. You know, yeah, you know, nah. I've had I've had alligator like jerky. I'm, I'm good. I don't need to prove anything there. It's weird though. They could use chicken. And they bite. Because that tastes like chicken. <laughs> like there's there's no texture difference. Usually there is a texture difference. It comes with chips. That I is look. there's some weird looking chips. They're very thick. Yeah. They're not bad one right I'll try chips. That was a for like a un Flavored chip. I had a good chip. Pretty tall. Now you some salsa with that, but it's good. It was weird that I wouldn't put salsa. The ashes were sauces. We no salsa. But I either didn't see the salsa or I don't it wasn't know. an option. That chip is good though. I'll give them that. So is your so, street taco gonna be any good? So it looks like there's lettuce, cheese, it's a jalapeno. Jalapeno. Some uh, little ranch drizzle, which I told them not to put on there because I was trying to convince Dustin to eat the taco. Yeah, but they put it on there anyways. Go figure. We're just waiting on him to finally eat it and find out mm. if it's good or not. He's playing around over there with the food. Yeah, we it's, have no idea still. Sorry. Right. There's enough cheese on here where I can taste the cheese. Yeah. It really, it tastes like a homemade fruit taco with buffalo chicken <laughs> on it. <laughs> like, okay. Like if you like street tacos and you like buffalo chicken, you'll probably like that. Then. It's not like, whatever they fried it in must have been pretty clean because it's not the, the, the alligator tastes good. Is it alligator? Who knows? <laughs> but... It is. It, uh, it tastes like chicken to you, at least. No, the texture's not different or anything, and the chips are good. Just the right amount of salt in them suckers. I was kind of worried because they're like really thick. And it's really good. And the pickle jalapenos, they go good with this. Well, there you go. He's still chewing away. We have a 17 minute video so far, and he's still chewing, <laughs> trying to eat a whole taco there. Well, it's good. So, all right. So, one last thing. One last thing. We tried everything except for one item. So far, I've been fairly impressed. Yeah. I, I've. All the stuff that I've gotten, I, there's nothing that I've not liked. Even your uh, gumbo was good. I wouldn't touch that with a ten foot pole or that. But <laughs> everything that, I've, that I got was was good. I'm I'm thoroughly impressed with what I've had so far. I definitely want to make a visit to the actual place. Yeah. And and then try some other things that I can actually see. And this is pretty much all. Awesome send back. <laughs> yeah. Well, you could send. I probably get a, a big burger or something there. But wow, that's not as big as I thought that was going. It's to very be. little. So the dessert options were beignet bites, yeah, which we might get beignet bites eventually, but I don't know what that is. I saw this and I was like, I gotta try it. I love bread pudding. Well, they have Krispy Kreme donut bread pudding. Bread pudding. So, oh, this is like a 
donut glaze. Is that what that is? Yeah. I guess you just put it over top of it. Give it a good helping. And then a little whipped cream. Whipped. Whipped. Might have to. I got a knife right here. Man. Cool whip. Cool whip. Yeah, if you guys, I didn't get to show you, but it, it is very. Uh, it's very small. It's very small. I, I, I didn't well, know that it was. The picture be. does definitely makes it look a lot bigger <laughs> than this. I mean, this is a small dish. It's a little tiny. It's yay, yay big, maybe. Imagine half of a hamburger. Yeah, it's it's one of the, probably one of these sliders. Yeah, about the size of a slider. Yeah, it's not very large. All right, I didn't use this for anything. Okay. Conserve it. All right, let's try it out. The texture's soft so far. Oh, yeah. There's so much going on in my mouth right there, I don't even know what to think. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's like eating the ice cream with a donut. I mean, there's just so much. Being ice yeah, cream. <laughs> there's so much going on in that little bite that I just had. Was between the Cool Whip, the icing, the donut, the bread. There's a lot, a lot going on. Why is it? It's not a warm. Nothing's warm here, but it's, it's warm. It's warm. Yeah, it is warm. Like. It was soft. Yeah, it was very, it was very soft. Like so tender. Um, if, if you have like one of those issues where textures, yeah, you want to mess with you. Yeah, you're not it is like that. Like softer than mashed potatoes. Like it is like so soft. But the flavor, there's a lot going on. It's very, very <laughs> it's, it's um, crazy. interesting. I don't hate it. Um, is it my favorite dessert ever? No. Would I eat it again? Probably. Yeah, that means this. It's tasty. No. Oh. I want to try the beignet bites. We should have got some. Um, hey, everything was expensive. So yeah, I was like, the, as the bill was racking up, yeah. I was going, ah, I don't know if I want this. So, so I had to try it. I mean, everything I got, I'm, I'm okay with. Um, I would definitely order again. So I was, I would give it a, a thumbs up, maybe double, and suggest highly that you need to go try this place out. Yeah, I, I, I would recommend it and definitely say... I mean, give give it a chance. I, everybody I've talked to, even just around, says it's good food, and I think they're right. I think they're right too. Yeah, I mean, I, they they nailed it. I mean, this is solid food. I mean, it took 10, 20 minutes to get here from up there at the Pinnacle. Plus, I want to say this: fifteen, maybe. I almost forgot to say this. They're very big on their community because they actually during when we had the, that big huge snowstorm Snow last month. Oh yeah, they did. Yeah. They gave away free meals for people who didn't have power. Yeah, they they were very big on helping the community out, which that goes a long way. So uh, yeah, especially for a chain restaurant, which you wouldn't see from a chain restaurant. You can see it from all the other chain yeah, restaurants. No one else did yeah. that, and even yeah. even the local restaurants. I never heard anything about anybody doing anything like that. So I mean, I mean they they stepped up and helped the community out, uh, gave away free meals. Their food is delicious. So I mean, they um, deserve some attention. Yeah, I, I'm. A, I mean, go go. You know. Fill this place up and support this this restaurant. It is delicious food. Um, I was I was hesitant. I really was. I mean, I was like, yeah, I don't know I'd, if I'd talk him into it a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know if I want to do this. So like, I've been it did scare me a little bit, but I'm 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 pleasantly surprised and and very happy with the food that I've, I've gotten. So yeah. So uh, yeah, check out Walk Ons. It's in Bristol. It's at the Pinnacle. Yep. It's up there. Uh, I think uh, where, where is it? Is it where? Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. No, that's where um, that's where uh, Chipotle's at. It's, oh, okay. it's on that same side over there, though. Okay, so it's in that area. Yeah, in that area near Buddies and Steak and Shake. Yeah, it's there. over in that little area right there. So, food's good. Up there, go up there, try it out. Um, and, uh, yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hey, we got a competition going on. Yeah, make sure you, you check win out. a hat. Win, win the hat. It, we got finally not that hat. This hat, not this hat. <laughs> yeah. that hat. The we and not my own hat. You're gonna get your own brand new hat, by the way, too. So, <laughs> but you really want his hat? Yes, I would suggest. <laughs> I sweated pretty much in his hat. You don't want this one. 
I mean, you might have that kind of fan. Nah, you know, maybe. Right? I, who knows? But <laughs> heaven help you. That's all I got to say. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So we reached, five, reached 500 subscribers so far. So we just need you to do one thing. Keep sharing. Yeah. Because hit we that, can grow because you guys do hit it. Hit that link to try to win you a hat. And uh, keep subscribing. Keep sharing. Uh, for those that we got 70% of people that watch this don't subscribe so that's a yeah. big number so yeah. it, and you can't win a hat if you're not subscribed well true I guess so, but yeah so just uh, make sure you subscribe on there hit the link go and and um, we'll try to win your hat you know we'll, uh, it's a free gift so basically yeah. so alright well that's all we got. Yeah. Go eat some Louisiana food, and we'll catch you next time. Let's get it.